Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new release video. We've got pro debut for you today. We've got the hobby boxes and we've got the jumbo boxes that we're going to be covering in this video. The price put on these, the hobby boxes are about $100 a piece and the jumbo boxes, I believe, are $140 on blowout cards right now. You get four autographs per box in a hobby box. You get less autos in the jumbo box you get three but you also get a whole bunch of chrome cards in there as well along with usually a bunch more numbered cards so let's go ahead and get into this and see what we can find should we start with hobby or should we start with jumbo i guess we'll start off with jumbo here and see what we can find again there are going to be three autos in here and there's just six packs in here and all of the cards in this video are going out to lee so lee thank you very much for sponsoring this video if you guys out there would like to sponsor a video like this one check us out on our patreon page we sell all of our spots there you can google join jabs family patreon to find it or look for the link in the description so you can see walker jenkins is the cover athlete here three autos per box looking for rare chrome autographed cards 24 cards per pack, six packs per box. So we're looking at just under 150 cards in the box. There are 200 cards in the base set. And yes, Paul Skeens is in this set, along with other great rookies from this year, like Wyatt Langford, Jackson Merrill, etc. And big news, Paul Skeens is in the autograph checklist as well. So you can go after and find his autos so let's see what we can find in the jumbo box first three autos and multiple numbered cards if we get our cases in by tomorrow which i hope to get the cases in we will do a box tour with these on the patreon only saturday showdown so here we go pack number one i picked up these boxes at steel city collectibles today on the way home from work and you can see here we go you get the 2024 tops design which is pretty nice looks almost identical to the regular 2024 design i feel like last year's 2023 design felt really off brand they didn't have like the little photo headshots in the corners um so i think that this design really matches up nicely with the 2024 set, there's Rainer Arias, who is a really nice prospect. Jacob Gonzalez here. You'll notice there are pro debut logos in the corners of some of these cards, like Wyatt Langford right here. That means this is their pro debut card, their first ever pro debut card. It's kind of like having a rookie card logo or a first Bowman logo, although they don't carry the same weight. I said this in our Face Off Friday video. Nobody really goes on the hunt for, man, I really need to get Wyatt Langford's pro debut, pro debut card. But people obviously say, I really need to get a Wyatt Langford rookie card or a first Bowman of Wyatt Langford. Here we go. We've got something coming up. It's going to be upside down, number to 50. It's Jun Suk Shim from the Buckos. It is a gold foil. So a gold foil. Number to 50 is our first hit. Ethan Salas, a really nice prospect. These Heroes of the Diamond cards are one in every 12 packs, which is not too bad. One in 12 every, every hobby packs. I don't know what they are in Jumbo, but it's a nice one. And here comes all of our refractors. So you noticed the first part of the pack was all of your paper cards. The whole rest of it, all chrome and refractors. So we've got Emmanuel Torero. We got Adrian Santana, Spencer Jones, Kaya Una, Robbie Snelling, and Austin Charles, all chrome refractors there. There were six of them in that pack, which is pretty nice. Here's our next one up. Pack number two. So we're gonna show you the hobby and the jumbo in the same video. So you can maybe try to decide what you want to go for if you're gonna pick one of these up at your hobby store. Maybe this weekend, or maybe pick one up online. There's Jacob Wilson from the Lugnuts, the Oakland A's minor league affiliate. That's one thing I wish that they would change, is I wish that they would give you some indication, there's Warming Vernabel, of what the organization is that has the players' rights. Like this one says Blue Jays because it's the Dunedin Blue Jays. But, you know, the loons, like who the heck owns the loons unless... 
you're a big Dodgers fan, you might not know. We got Caden Wallace. Here we go. Autograph time. It is Luis Perales. It is a sticker auto. So it's numbered to 99. Luis Perales is auto number one. There's a Walker Jenkins insert card. We have another numbered card. It's Mac Horvath, numbered to 75. And then here we go with all of our chrome refractors. Jesus Baez and Connor O'Halloran is the last one. Next pack up. We'll see what we can find. And thanks for joining us on our second video of the day. It was it's a very pro debut day here. We did a face-off Friday earlier because that was the first spot to sell. So I did that one first. There's Jackson Chorio, another one of the top rookies. So all these big rookies that you're chasing after, they're on this 200-player checklist. Jack Mahoney right there. Here comes what looks to be maybe a gold. Oh, it's actually an 87. King Felix. Hernandez, 1987. That 87 Topps design never goes out of style, and they use it so often. We see it all the time. Every couple years, they bring back the 87 design. Here's our refractors. Caden Wallace. Abimelech Ortiz is a nice prospect. And a gold refractor of Diego Mosquera, numbered 50 to 50. 50 up 50. So right now, that is our fourth numbered card of the box, one of them being an autograph. If you're keeping track at home, we'll have to compare how we did with the numbered cards and see what's better. We're going to have another one here at the, the back end here. There's Drew Jones from Rawhide, which is the D-backs, I think, A-level affiliate. Spencer Jones, the Patriots, Somerset Patriots for the Yankees. Blake Mitchell. I may try to do a team break of these, which is going to take a long time because when you go to sort it, you can't just look at the team name and be like, okay, there's the Buckos. A lot of these, you got to look them up. Luckily, we got the mix helping us out with a spreadsheet of all of these for the lesser known minor league affiliates. We've got Luis Guanipa, and that's going to be autograph number two. So both of the autos have been numbered. Guanipa, purple, numbered. To 299 right there. Braves prospect. And there's your first Paul Skeens sighting. Altoona Curve, Heroes of the Diamond. Paul Skeens, he played for the curve last year. This year he was a triple A and he just he just embarrassed the triple A hitters. So he was there for like a month and they're like, all right, this is just getting silly. We gotta bring you up. We'll get that one sleeved up. That's a nice card right there. Another numbered card, Camilo Diaz, numbered to 199. And then here are all of our refractor chromes. You saw that there's a numbered one at the back end, and here it is, Jake Bennett, numbered to 150. So on average, it feels like it's like 1.5 to 2 numbered cards per pack from the Jumbos. Still one more autograph to be found. Two packs left to do it in. Let's see what we've got in our next one here. Have our paper cards first. And we haven't seen the Walker Jenkins yet. Or I don't think we've seen the Dylan Cruz either for that matter. Connor Burns is numbered to 150. Another numbered card. We've got a road to the show Ethan Salas again. Myra Shendrick Martinez. And here comes the refractors. There's a Drew Jones refractor. Reiner Arias. Two good prospects to start things off. Josue DePaul is a good one. And an X-Fractor of Devin Saltiban. It is not numbered, but a nice parallel right there. And now we're into our last pack of the Jumbos. And then we'll check out the hobby. Because the hobby is cheaper. And you get more autographs. But you're going to get a good bit less numbered cards, I feel like. Maybe half as much, maybe, who knows, maybe a little less than half as much. A former first-rounder, Chase DeLauder in there. Rock Riggio. If you love Bowman and Prospects, you probably like this release a lot. Here we go, a Marion Boyd. And that's going to be the autograph right there. Second time pulling a, Mar a Marion Boyd autograph today. Jason Worth from way back in the day. Minor league card, Max Clark is a nice one. So Max Clark on the foil, number to 175. We'll take it. Let's see what else we've got amongst the chrome refractors. Another one, a Loons, Dalton 
rushing to 99. So if you're counting the numbered cards, there was one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight numbered cards and two numbered autographs, taking it to a total of 10 numbered cards in the jumbo box. So now let's compare and contrast this to the pro debut hobby box, which it's about a hundred dollars for one of these. I think it's $99 and 95 cents on all three of the big sites. You get four autograph cards, you get more autos, but you, you're going to get less numbered cards. We're not pulling 10 numbered cards out of this. That would be one almost every other pack. We'll see what happens here. I feel like also we'll take a look at the autos. I bet you there's going to be a lot of paper autos, which isn't bad. An auto is an auto. But I feel like the best return on your money is probably going to be jumbo boxes from my past experience. But let's see. You never know. Sometimes things change with configurations. All right. So here we go. We've got our 24 packs out ready to go for Lee. Good luck, Lee. Let's see how we do here. I think we'll do these in the old style of just doing a stack at a time rather than opening 24 individual packs. We'll just do eight packs at a time. It's almost like doing one large double jumbo pack worth of cards all at once. Good luck, Lee. I wouldn't mind putting this set together, by the way. Pro debut, a nice affordable release. Eight cards times 24 packs gives you, let's see, how many cards does that give you? 24 times eight is going to give you 192 total cards. So you're getting about 50 more cards in the pro debut hobby box as opposed to the jumbo. And you get more autos. So it's really what you like. If you like numbered cards, go for the uh, numbered cards and refractors, go for the jumbo. If you like more autos and base cards, go for the hobby. Here's Dylan Cruz. Playing against the Buccos this homestand in Pittsburgh. They were rained out tonight, by the way. There's Bryce Eldridge, so we got a refractor right there. That's not a bad card. We'll get that Dylan Cruz sleeved up because he's uh, had some a couple good games and He's the, all the rage right now in the hobby. Or one of the big names in the hobby. Here's another big name. Paul Skeens with the wicked side eye right there. Man, those, uh, those hitters had no chance in the minor leagues against him. Here we go. We've got a Ryan Clifford. So it looks like you're getting maybe a Chroma Factor, maybe one per pack or so. That's number two. Here we go. We've got Johnny Farmello, our first numbered card. It's going to be the auto. Number to 199. So autograph number one on the Farmello. There's three more coming. Let's see what else we've got. We've got the King Felix for the second time. There's Dylan Head. Storm card right there. Part of that Padres and Marlins trade. Earlier this season, a lot of these guys you'll see in the big leagues this year, or actually next year probably most likely. Some of them you've seen this year, like Jacob Wilson and Paul Skeens. Others are going to be on the way very soon. It's always fun to go back and open an older box of Pro Debut from a few years ago, and most of the guys have been in the big leagues by now as they take the top, basically top prospects, try to pick out the top 200 or so. Not all of them make it, but a lot of them do. Sebastian Walcott, Heroes of the Diamond right there that you saw. Those are one in every 1,200 packs. That's a good one with the Texas Rangers. So brand new release here today, and we've got another new release coming out next week. I believe it's coming out on the 11th of September, and that's going to be Bowman Chrome, which is always a highly anticipated release. We'll have the hobby boxes coming in. I think I'll also have some mega boxes. We'll see. All right, so for Lee, here's your middle stack. We've got an X-Fractor coming up for you. There's another Wyatt Langford. And there is Carlos Jorge as your refractor. We have not hit a numbered base card yet, by the way. We did hit one auto, and it was numbered. In the jumbo box, for comparison purposes, we had eight numbered cards. Eric Batoni is going to be the next one. It is going to be autograph number two. There are four autos, so two more to go. Eric Batoni, auto number two. Got Edgar Caro. 
Elijah Green of the Nats, number to 175. So that's our first true number base card. How's Elijah Green even doing this year? I kind of lost track of him. He was once the cover boy of, wasn't he the cover boy of, was it Bowman Chrome two years ago? He was on Sapphire, I know. Everybody was buying his stuff up when he was an 18-year-old kid. Lots of hype. And Elijah Green, who's now 20 years old with the Nats, coming into last season, he was the 46th overall prospect in all baseball, and he fell out of the top 100 and wasn't even ranked. And for being the cover boy of the box with all the hype, people buying his cards, I remember going crazy. We'd pull, we'd pull some of his autos that were numbered worth thousands of dollars at the time. He's at A-ball this year, just wrapped up the season. Guess what he did? He hit 210 with a 297 on base percentage, both awful numbers. Slugging percentage, 353, also on awful numbers, so that's not looking good for him. And all those folks that prospected on him, it's like, you know, with the prospects, it's like buying stocks. You think you got a good stock that's going to perform, then something happens and it just doesn't work out and it, it drops off. And that's what happened with his cards. He is still young. Maybe he can figure something out. But his career average at all levels of the minors, 2022, 2023, and 2024 in the low minors, his career batting average is 218. So we'll see what happens. Spencer Jones right there. And we've got a Sebastian Walcott, White Langford refractor. That's a good card right there for Lee. We'll get that one sleeved up. And Brando Maia is right there. And we'll see. We've got another numbered card. It's going to be Travis Honeyman. It's going to be an auto. How do I know that? I can, I mean, I can just feel the sticker on it. They're all sticker autos. Travis Honeyman Green. So another auto. It's auto number three. And numbered card number three of the box. And we have one more stack left. So one more auto, and we'll see what else we can find. I did buy a bunch of cases of Pro Debut to start seeding in the Patreon pack starting next month. I like these packs because they are relatively cheap. You can buy these individual packs at your hobby store for like five bucks and have a really good shot of an autograph. one in six chance of an auto that doesn't happen really in, in any other product if you think about like tops flagship and a hit in tops flagship like series one or series two or update is one in every 24 packs and i feel like the chances of finding auto might be one in every three boxes so your true chance of finding an autograph is maybe one in 72 but with these, it's one in every six, so you can't really beat those odds. There's Jason Worth yet again, second time seeing that one. And we'll see what we can do to wrap it up. We've got the Walker Jenkins. He's had a good season in the minors. We'll get that one sleeved up. Mighty Muscles is the team. Some of these minor league teams, definitely very interesting. Sammy Basayo is a good prospect. George Lombard right there. Here's our next numbered card. It's Hurston Waldrop. It's going to be a mini diamond number to 50 so that is one of those rare hobby only pools i think it even says it on the front of the box look for exclusive there it is mini diamond refractor parallels and there's one for you to see that is numbered card number two not including the autos wyatt langford right there starting to really heat up a little bit at least the last week against the yankees Yasser Mercedes of the Twins. There's Jace Young, refractor card of the Sea Wolves. And I think we've got one more auto that we're due here. There's Jackson Holiday. Man, that would have been nice to find his auto. Alfredo Duno of the Reds is going to be our final auto from the Tortugas. Alfredo Duno, auto number four. So two of the autos were numbered. Grand total of four numbered cards in the box, two base numbered, two autos numbered. So you can see they definitely came up well short of what the Jumbos clocked in at with 10 total, eight numbered base, two numbered autos. But, you know, it's really what you want to go with. you got two options there. There is no retail of this, so you're not going to find blaster boxes or fat packs. It's just hobby or jumbo. And they're relatively affordable at $100 for a hobby box and about $140 for a jumbo box. Again, if I get my cases in tomorrow, we'll rip some of these in our showdown, in our box wars on 
Patreon tomorrow night. And I think maybe in our live stream on Sunday night on whatnot, we may give it a try too. So we're live every Wednesday. I got to update this because we've been doing Sunday shows too. Make sure you sign up for whatnot if you haven't already. And at the very least, just to get $15 for free. You'll get 15 bucks for free, whatnot.com slash invite slash jabs family. If you're a new user there, if you've already signed in with an email address, that means you're a current user and you will be ineligible. So uh, some people have said, hey, I didn't get my $15, but they've already used whatnot before. So it's for new year users only. So maybe talk to the wife, girlfriend, brother, sister, and uh, ask to borrow their email address so it works or get them to sign up. And uh, whatnot's also running a seller special. If you become a seller using my invite code, whatnot.com slash invite slash seller slash jabs family. I know it's a lot. You can just also click that link in the description of this video and it might make it easier for you. But if you sign up using that link to become a seller and you got a whole bunch of singles laying around, go on, whatnot, go live, sell your cards. They're going to give you $150 for free. They'll match the first $150 in sales. So if you sell $150 bucks worth of stuff, lots of dollar cards, $5 cards, it's free money coming your way. You can't beat it. It's a fantastic deal. Give it a try. Maybe you'll like it more than selling on eBay or maybe you'll like it more than dragging your stuff to a card show and sitting there all weekend for eight hours a day. It might be easier just to do it from your couch or your office or your desk or whatever. It's uh, I, I love doing it. It's super easy to sell stuff on there and the payment collection is unmatched. Somebody wins something, the payments are automatic and then the shipping is automatic. They automatically produce the shipping labels and invoices for you. So all you really have to do is click a couple buttons, click print, and then you get your shipping label and uh, makes it a lot easier on the seller end. So folks, thank you very much for watching. I hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your Friday night and I'll see you all tomorrow for our patron only box wars and maybe also a card show video tomorrow. Maybe we'll do a card show haul. We're planning on heading out to a card show tomorrow and hoping to find some good deals. So thanks for watching and I'll see you all later. Good night, everybody.